We're playing our next long play now, it's Dungeon Keeper. We're playing the Dungeon Keeper FX latest release as well. Fixes a whole load of bugs in the original game, doesn't really add much new content, which is great. I'm not here for new content, I'm here to play this amazing game. This has been ran once before on the channel, about five years ago. It's Long Jew, another visit, so let's do it. Uh, yes, original campaign. We will not be running the deeper dungeon campaign yet. Ever smile. Set in the realm of joy, the people of Ever smile are plagued only by aching facial muscles, and not anthrax as we had hoped. Ever smile is a disgusting land of good humor and polite frivolity. Thank you, Peppa Pig. Now it's time for us to go and right these wrongs, these disgusting wrongs. And the game will tell us everything we need to know, except I am cocksure of myself. I don't need to know a dang thing to play this game. I'm good at it. I'm not very good at it, but I'm good enough at it. So, if you haven't played this game before, first of all, what is wrong with you? How did you manage to uh, avoid this classic for so long? Otherwise, it's a real-time strategy base builder. You are the dungeon master, this is your dungeon, you must protect your heart at all cost. And you build your lair as you see fit, you recruit demons and monsters, or rather they come to you through the portal. And you must take care of their whims whilst training them up to defeat the forces of good. The forces of good are disgusting and should have nothing to do with you. Except as fertilizer for your graveyards. And perhaps prisoners for your prisons and torture victims for your torture chambers, but we will get to that in all good time. How this game has not been remastered is beyond me. Then again, base builders have been a big drop. Well, isn't it? Aren't all the rights uh, owned by uh, EA? So heavens knows what you're going to get there. So we've got our first minion, it's a fly. A fly is excessively useless, the one thing they're good at is exploring, so I'll give it a slap and tell it to head off. No, there is one other good use for a fly. The flies are very good for sacrifices. If you sacrifice two flies, you will finish your next research. But that's not a problem this early on in the game. We'll get ourselves a lovely hatchery. Hell, we'll make two. This is the first level. It's not until, like, level four five that we'll really have to even do some slight thinking in the interest of bringing the enemies to us let's expand out a bit I think it was the moment I could do this that I fell in love with the game it's like you're telling me that I can carve out the underworld as I see fit and that oh the sound of that even sounds amazing the game could certainly do with some quality of life, and it saw it in Dungeon Keeper 2, but the game just never clicked with me in the same way that this did. So you got to build all the right rooms. You want to fortify walls to both make rooms more efficient and to stop intruders from breaking through. If a wall has been reinforced, there is no way through it unless you have the ultra-late game tech destroy wall. That will not be a concern for anybody for any length of time. <clears throat> Dungeons 3 is a very good successor, even though the humor is a little on the nose there. Uh, isn't that the one where you build up a place to attract heroes and you want to fatten them up for loot when you defeat them? I don't know, Dungeon Keeper is just so good. All you'd need to do is sprinkle over some uh, quality of life. And... What more could one even need, though? Are you playing all Hidden Realms and Full Moon level, or just a standard one? The only plan is to do the standard one. If we stumble upon the Hidden Realms, then all the better. By the way, let's drop in the beetles, throw in the flies. Let's actually possess a fly to join in the fighting. Flies are absolutely rubbish, but maybe if we control one, we can do a bit better. And this is a thing I loved as well, you can control your your creatures going right down into the game, how awesome is this? And because we're a fly, we see everything in this hex system, a hex based game that I do like. Savor your first victory while you can, you've attracted the wrath of the lord of the land, well not to worry. Yeah, this is just Tutorial City. Losing 
in this level is next to impossible. And what I love about this game is that, sure, there are optimal ways to play, but you can win. Just fine and dandy playing however you want to play. Alright, dungeon... Uh, the Lord of the Land is on his way, but we can play as a beetle, sneak up on him and just start pecking away at his arse. Or sit back and watch our own beetles do the job for us. Lord of the Land is not actually a very strong unit. So if you get a chance to have him, you won't actually like it because he's very expensive for what he does. And what he does is, well, as you can see, bleed out a lot and die. So our work here is done. There's no one to prevent us from obliterating Eversmile. And so we shall. I'm going to take these beetles and tell them to sod off. Insects are pretty garbage units in this game, except for spiders. I think spiders are pretty good. Branna Hawk. War and anthrax have taken to this land like fleas to a rat. The region is, thanks to your unstinting efforts, now a major eyesore. 